it's finally gotten down to this point. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2020-22-2023 edition? Probably, I don't even know. Anywho, in our last episode, we finally did it, guys. We got ourselves our last team member, and that is Torpedo Ligolas. Okay, so for those who didn't really watch the episode and they were just, you know, being a little ignorant or anything like that, Torpedo happens to be a Pokemon I had in Pokemon Yellow. Now, the only reason why I didn't trade the real Torpedo, that the level 52 Torpedo, from Yellow to here is because, well, I still want to use that Torpedo for Pokemon Stadium. So, the the goal is this, that, you know, if I have Pokemon in that version, I'm going to have to trade them, breed them, put them back. That way we actually have, you know, Pokemon that are up to date right here in Generation 2. Because, hey, the goal is to still get Pokemon Stadium 2, you know, going and all that stuff. So, let's see. There's a few things that I need to do. And that is, I have to teach this Pokemon some moves. Since it will be a pretty uh, valuable Pokemon later on, as you guys can see, we got the uh, TM24 Dragon Breath. And this one actually works for both Serpentera and Torpedo. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, uh... I'm gonna have to hold off on that one. Let's see what Icy Wind does. Can it learn Icy Wind? Because if it can, then yes, okay. So, we're teaching Icy Wind to Torpedo. That's actually a good pickup right there. And then we're going to give it, not Waterfall, but Surf for right now. Because it does have a Water-type move. And yeah, it's not the strongest. But yes, guys, the goal is to actually trade Torpedo. And uh, what was it? Evolve it into Kingdra. Which we will be doing in these next few episodes because we're not going to go to the Pokemon League just yet. We're actually going to be doing some side quests. A lot of them. Like this one. Not this one right here, but like this one. We're going to be going down Route 45 back home because uh, Professor Elm needs us. Now, you guys are probably going to be seeing us going back and forth. So we're going to be battling a lot of trainers. A lot of stuff. As you guys can see, there's the Dark Cave. Um, we will be exploring that in probably the next episode right there like we're gonna be going uh I think we're gonna be going near Violet City to do that stuff and well let's see there will be some interesting Pokemon you can actually find in this area right here but I do not want to meet them right now so we're gonna be using a super repel we're gonna be flying back and forth we're gonna be grabbing some items bam like that okay so we got an individual waiting for us right there. So what's what's going to happen is we're going to be going, uh, yeah, we're going to be going back and forth right here because there's a lot of stuff that we need to cover. Be prepared for anything. Let me see if your Pokemon have been raised properly. Hmm. Okay. So here we go, taking on Camper Eric, and he wants to come out with his Machop. Okay, Machop level 24. I think Torpedo can actually handle this. So, let's go with the Surf Attack, and thankfully, Torpedo is a lot more, it's a lot faster than, than these Pokemon right here. So, anywho, guys, you already know, we're going to be doing side quests. Lots of side quests. The first one is right here, uh, Route 45, and then we're going to try and do just about a few things, like the all-siblings, the all-week siblings, if you guys have no idea who those guys are. The all week siblings are basically the the individuals who give you special items, who give you special items, uh, you know, for, for your Pokemon throughout the week. I think in the game right now it is Saturday, so we might be finding, well, we might find somebody on a Saturday or something like that, so I don't know. But we're going to be doing that, and then, yes, Mount Mortar is another place we're going to be looking at. Mainly because that place holds a few things that we need in order to, you know, get Torpedo to where it needs to be and all that stuff. And everything else, uh, I got a few, uh, I got a few surprises here and there for you guys. All of this will culminate or uh, will culminate to the Pokemon League battle. Hopefully, our Pokemon will be a little bit more trained and all that stuff. And uh, Torpedo is just destroying everybody. Bam! And just like that, our first level with Torpedo in. Uh, Silver version right here, or no, a crystal version, I should say. Okay, so go down here, and we're gonna be finding quite a few things. So, 
I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna be going to this individual. We're gonna be battling him. Alrighty, so here we are back, and we're gonna be battling this individual right here. What are your thoughts on raising Pokemon? Just raise them. I don't know. I don't really have a lot of thoughts on it. So here we go, taking on Cool Trainer Ryan, and he's gonna be coming out with a Pidgeot. Look at this Pokemon right here. Majestic AF, but how is it at level 25? I thought it evolved at level 36 or something. So here we go, Icy Wind, and that, that actually helps us pretty well, holy crud, okay, and its speed has fallen, so yes, okay, so yes, Torpedo is a special pickup right there, now, uh, some of you guys are a little bummed out, you know, lucky, oh my god, he's not going to the Pokemon League with you guys, well, that was the plan the whole entire time, guys, we just needed a Water-type Pokemon to get us to the Promised Land right here. And this guy's coming out with an Electabuzz. Okay, so let's go with Serpentera. Um, yeah, we just needed somebody to take us to all eight badges. Uh, I was, I was actually thinking of, uh, what was it? What was I thinking? Oh yeah, I was thinking of just using Pokemon Gold's, uh, what was it called, uh, Dragon Scale? To, to actually just evolve a, to, a, a torpedo real quickly, but I was like, you know what? It would be much better if we traded for a torpedo at the very end and then start going through some caves that, you know, I don't usually go to until, like, after, you know, this whole this whole thing ends. And that's, that's what we're going to be doing right here. And crap baskets, we need to go elsewhere right here. And as you guys can see, you have different places to go, and it looks like right here we found ourselves a max potion. So, we're going to be going up towards uh, one of the trainers right there, because that's our goal right there, is to battle every trainer. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are, and uh, we're about to take on this guy. Look at this. <laughs> My Pokemon are power-packed. Okay, alrighty, okay. So, anywho, here we are digging on Hiker Perry, and he is coming out with his Onyx. So, these people are just coming out with some Pokemon that, like, you know, they're just offering up these Pokemon to Torpedo. Just to give it a little, just to catch up to the Pokemon that I have right now. Like I was saying, guys, Lucky, yes, it has been a very, very, it was a, it was a very important Pokemon on our team. But it was always um, uh, the more expendable one because... You know, ever since I caught Torpedo in uh, Pokemon Yellow, that was kind of the plan. Using, you know, a Seedra in the fa in the next phase of this whole thing, just to, you know, just to grab uh, grab ourselves a Kingdra for the first time. Then grab ourselves, you know, a Dragon-type Pokemon for a while, you know? I think Kingdra's the only Dragon-type Pokemon that has been added in Generation 2, which is kind of sad. It really is a little sad, so... Here we are taking on Meryl, or Pika Blue, and, well, we got a Dragon-type attack, Twister. And if you're flying, <laughs> turns out Twister actually hits you. And that actually pretty, that's actually pretty good, so here we go. Tail Whip attack, doesn't really work, but here it comes again, Twister attack. And this Twister does its trick. Okay, so we need a new... Okay, so it made it flinch. So here we go. One more time. You gotta love this Twister. Look at that. Yes. Just like a real Twister, Meryl has fainted. And there we go. We got to level 34. And that's another... Well, I guess that's another part about... About getting Torpedo from another game is the fact that, you know, you can actually grow it a little quicker than... Uh, a little quicker than the usual Pokemon right here. So that right there brings me back to what? Technically, it brings me back up to three traded Pokemon, but since Serpentera is technically, you know, ours, it's actually two. And, oh my god, we miss. And, well, here's War Turtle with his, uh, withdrawal. So here we go, Razor Leaf. Let's get this Razor Leaf, and... There you go. Oh my god. Okay, so that's another one right there. And I think this lady's a water type trainer. Yeah, she is. Okay, so let's go ahead and give Fluffolt a little love right here. Where the heck are you? Okay, Fluffolt. It has been a while. Alrighty. War turtle. You 
probably one of the coolest Pokemon out there, but I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to give you a Thunder Punch. For the win! And just like that, War Turtle has been defeated. And I'm feeling great about that, look at that, yes. And Torpedo too, yes. Okay, so Trainer Kelly has been defeated. Fine, I lost. I didn't even read her dialogue. Anywho, uh, let's see. We're gonna get to go down here. And we're gonna be taking on that trainer. Uh, Repel has gone down, so let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch out to Turgupri. That way we're a little better prepared for this guy. What does he want? I was training here alone. Behold the fruits of my labor. The fruits of his labor. Holy crud. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Black Belt Kenji. It's a pretty darn good name. And here we have Machoke. Perpeculating pictorials right there, and we're gonna go with a fly attack. Alrighty. Bring it on, Karate Chomp. Doesn't really work. And... There you go. Oh my god, okay. So here comes a Karate Chomp right there. That was probably gonna mess this up a little, but here we go again. Another fly attack. And the Seismic Toss is about to be used, so here comes again a fly attack. For the win. And just like that, Machoke has been defeated. Togepi nearly grows a level. Okay. And Kenji, you have been defeated. Hlog! You really need to trade your Pokemon, man. This calls for extreme measures. I might take this, uh, I must take this to, to the hills and train in solitude. Our battle was remarkable. I wish uh, for, for something to remember you by. Perhaps you... Oh yeah, your phone number. Okay, so yeah. I guess, I guess we will be his uh, his company while he's training by himself. Okay, so he wants to be the mightiest. I acknowledge that, and oh my god, there are items right there. Okay, so we're not going to be going up there. Not just yet. Let's go right ahead and just, you know, get more repels right here. And, oh, the decisions. Oh my god, decisions, decisions, and... Okay. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. Yo! You're spunky! But you know what? When it comes to sheer spunkiness, I'm the man. I don't know, I don't know if I'm spunky or anything, but that kind of creeped me out a little. But here comes Michael, and he is coming out with his Geodude right here. And well. Takapri, ready to go. Let's get it, Shadow Ball. See how that works out. And oh, nearly makes a faint. There was a critical hit. And yes, we're gonna be taking a rock throw right here, which is not cool. So here we go, Shadow Ball yet again. And just like that, Geodude has been defeated. And uh, say hello to level 37 and Torpedo, getting those boosted points. Here comes a Graveler. So let's go right ahead and go. Let's go with the Torpedo. Let's give it a little bit more of a boost. Get to level 40 by the end of uh, the end of this episode, maybe. I think we can do it. And well, here we go. Surf attack for the win. And well, we go look at that. Torpedo. Kick butt, taking names, and bam. Here it goes again with the experience share and say hello to level 35. So yeah, Torpedo's gonna get there. Yeah. Okay, so, let's see. Coming out with a golem, let's go right ahead and give this to Chico right here. Alright, Chico. You don't like me, and I don't like you. I said this before. But, you do love your Razor Leaf attack. So, here comes the Razor Leaf. And, that right there takes out Golem. That's right. How do you like me now? And... Well, here comes more experience points, and just like that, Michael has been defeated. <laughs> they weren't spunking enough. No, they weren't. Okay, so let's move on forward, and... Okay, we got two trainers we can actually battle right here, so... Yes. Why do I climb mountains? Because they are there. Why do I train Pokemon? Because they are there. Yeah, I, I kind of do the same thing right there, too. So here we go, guys. Another... Hiker and his name is Timothy and yeah look at that he's coming out with a diglet. Alrighty, Tegubri. 
Let's do this. Uh, let's, let's gamble just a little, and crap ass is completely forgot Diglett is a little faster than us. So here we go, metronome, and a hydro pump. <laughs> okay, so that was a bit of good luck right there. Diglett, not happy. Togepi, doing its thing, and, uh, well... Alrighty, so... Doug Trio is coming out. I am not going to test my luck yet again. So let's go straight to where are you? Let's go with Torpedo. All right, Torpedo, get ready to do this. Yes, Torpedo has been a very, very fine addition. I cannot wait to go to Dark Cave, and I cannot wait to go to Mount Mortar after this. So here we go. Surf attack for the win, and Doug Trio has been defeated. And uh, yes, we're getting more experience points. Yes, torpedo, you 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 gonna be something else. All right, so that's one down. Let's go ahead and do the other guy right here. I'm really really tough. And that was my phone. Okay, he's really really tough. So here we go, Quentin Tarantino wants to battle us, and he's coming out with a Firo. And, well, let's see. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's go with a metronome. But let's go ahead and take a Fury attack right here. Alrighty. Oh my god, come on. So that's three times, here comes metronome. Let's get it, charm attack. That's right, your attack has fallen down. Okay. So now, let's go right ahead and use a swift attack. That fury attack is not going to be so powerful, but here comes swift again. And, oh my god, nearly beats him. So here we go, fly attack. One, two, three. One, two, three. Holy crap, that was critical hit. And, oh my god, oh my god. That's what she said. And, well, there was a critical hit. So this is probably our only chance to actually hit this Pokemon pretty hard. And does it? No! Okay, so we gotta be a very, very good trainer and give a hyper potion straight to Togepi. That way it won't faint. So there it is, Togepi is back. And, well, in the pursuit of happiness right there. Let's go right ahead. And you know what? Let's. Yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna do it either way. All right, Metronome, come on, Thunder Punch or something like that. Snore, okay. Yeah, not gonna happen again. So, we keep on missing attacks. This attack will not miss, and there you go, Firo has been defeated. Yes, alrighty. And, whoa, wow, it took me that long? Okay, so, <laughs> we gotta stop screwing around. All right, let's go Super Terra. He's gonna come out with a Tauros right here. Toro. Okay, all right, Tauros. I don't like you, and you don't like me, but guess what? Iron Tail. And this horn attack right here, <laughs> it may be strong, but it's not super strong, because here comes the Iron Tail. And... Oh my god, nearly defeat Tauros, so let's go straight for a rock throw right here, and here comes another horn attack. Yeah. It's like, it's like hitting a, oh wow, it's... Yeah, it's like hitting a adamantium and all that stuff, and oh my god, here comes its rage attack. This one actually gets strong after a while, but unfortunately for Tauros, rock throw is the thing. And there we go. Alrighty. And Torpedo has grown to level 36. Okay. And let's see, Primeape. Okay, so this Pokemon I can deal with, with Togepi. So, Primeape, how's it going? All right, bring it on. Eye of the Tiger. Fly attack. And here comes a Rage attack. That right there won't do anything. And the Fury Swipes is about to come. But guess what? Fly attack for the win. And just like that, Primeape has been defeated. All righty, so that was, <laughs> that was a pretty good battle right there. And Camper Quentin has been defeated. Yeah, he should have gone to the Battle Tower. That is something that I am probably not going to do. And, well, we still got one or two more things to do. So I'll be right back with you guys. we got to get that item right there.
Alrighty, we're back, baby. Let's go right ahead and grab this. And here we found ourselves a nugget. And that right there is actually a pretty cool thing. And, well, let's see. Grabbing this thing right here. And look at this. We found ourselves a revive. So that's two items that we found. Okay, so here we are back. And I believe... Yes, our repel is going to be worn off. Let's go right ahead and use another super repel. Don't worry, I bought myself some extra repels while we were at it. And here we're going to find a secret little area where you're going to be finding, you know, a pond. You can actually find some pretty interesting Pokemon right there. And look at that. We found ourselves a mystery berry. You can come here every single day just to, you know, get yourself a mystery berry. And as you guys can see, this will actually lead to Route 46 and a few more berries right here. That is another section of the Dark Cave, which, like I said, in probably the next episode we will be going through. And, well, a berry. We found a berry. So let's go ahead and give this calcium to Togepi. There we go. So we have opened up some space right here. And bam. Found ourselves a berry. Okay. Alright, so let's go right ahead and jump out of here. And it looks like to me... If we go right here, you're going to find two more trainers. And, yeah, she's going to attack you either way. I raised Pokemon, too. Will you battle with me? Hmm. It's always weird. Like, it, they always make it hard for you to actually find a, an item. And then when you think they don't move, they move. Okay, so here she comes out with a Ponyta. And that's a level 16. So, yeah, you... Probably should go here after Flash because these are some trainers that you know you can actually battle and get some good experience. As you can probably tell, we're we're gonna mop the floor with these two people right here. So let's see. We got another Pokemon. She's coming out with a Ponyta. Let's give let's give Hera a chance. You know we haven't battled her yet. This episode she needs to make her appearance, her daily appearance. And here's Hera, the Hell Dog. And we're going to use a faint attack. Kind of sucks that, you know, we're a little too over-leveled right here. 22 levels to be exact. And, uh, well, there we go. A little more experience points. Yes, boosted, I should say. And we have defeated Aaron. <laughs> oh, rats. Yes. All right, let's turn this around. Let's battle this guy. I'm raising Pokemon, too. Will you battle with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Bring it on. Here's Camber Ted. Camber Ted is thinking he's a, you know, he, he's a tough guy. But guess what? There's level 17 Mankey. Time to use a fly. This is going to suck. It really is. And, well, here comes Leer. Here comes Fly. And just like that, we have defeated Mankey. Very simple. Very, very simple. And that is a, <laughs> that is it. Yeah, are you saying, what? Alright, so we're not going to talk to either one of these people. Grab this, that's an X speed. Okay, so that, that that is quite annoying. That is very annoying right there. So let's go right ahead and let's see. We got a Moo Moo Milk. We got a Burnt Berry. Don't really need that. Uh, Dragon Fang, that's always nice. A Nugget, Mr. Berry. You know what, let's give, let's give a Berry to nobody. Okay. You know what? Let's equip it. Let's equip a... Uh, never mind. Okay. So, I'm going to have to toss out something. Toss out... Toss out... Toss out what? Huh, look at that. Most of our stuff we kind of need. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and toss this away. All right. Let's go right ahead and grab this. Seriously? Okay. So, yes. Don't care. Don't care. No. Yes. Your opponent uses dig. Yes. I know. Magnitude. You still hit it. Okay. Grab this. There we go. We found ourselves the X speed. Now let's go towards that section that, like, go, let's go to the, let's go towards that section that we didn't go to, and see what we can find there. So I'll be right back with you guys one last time. Okay, so here we are, and that is not the place. So what we need to do now is we have to actually go down here, and we will find one more trainer. And, you know what, he might not have the strongest Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and give this to Torpedo. Make quick work. Alright, 
I'll show you the power of mountain Pokemon. Mountain Pokemon. I wonder what those are. And well, here we are taking on Bailey. Bailey coming out with a Geodude. Oh crud, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, they're all level 13. This is gonna be bad. Everything's gonna be surfed, everything's gonna be turfed, and uh, yeah. Holy bejeebus. So there we go, Torpedo does its thing, and there you go. What else are we gonna do? Okay, so yeah, we're getting more points. So, uh, he's got five Pokemon, so you know what? I'm gonna speed this through. I'm gonna speed this through real quick. Okay, so here's his last Yo Dude. Seriously, bro. You could evolve one or two. I don't know. And just like that, Geodude has been defeated. And, well, we don't make it yet. Okay, so there it goes. Hiker Bailey has been defeated. And he's like, Mercy, you showed your power. Yes, I have. Okay, so once you finish all of that, you're going to be back here. So in somewhere, well, in this area that's somewhere familiar. Route 46. And all you need to do now just go back to New Bark Town, so yeah, we're gonna have to <laughs> walk through grass. And battle some Pokemon right there. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> Here we are, guys, finally back in New Bark Town. You know, even though we could have just flown there, we decided that we, we, we like hard work. So go into Professor Elm's uh, lab, and you're going to talk to him. He's going to be like, Hi, Draven. Thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. And there we go, guys. We got ourselves a Master Ball. Yes, the Master Ball. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to recognize Pokemon researchers. I think you can uh, make much better uh, use of it than I can, Draven. You bet I can. Okay, guys, so... This is it right here. We're gonna be going through some side quests. I know we can go straight to the Pokemon League right now, but we're doing side quests in the next episode. Starting with Dark Cave. And it's gonna lead up to a whole bunch of other stuff right here. So, thank you guys again for being patient, and thank you guys again for watching the episodes. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right there. That's where you make the donations. I don't think the link's any working anymore, so just go straight to the heart button right there, guys. If you guys want to check out some Pokemon exclusive videos right here onto this channel, yes, join the channel, and then bam, you will be watching members-only videos. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.